What's up guys? All right, today we're talking about Stromedy's latest video where he finds the devil in the devil's tree out in New Jersey. And we're gonna talk about the lies in this video today. So guys, let's smash 200 likes for the next episode and YouTube's fastest news network. The fact is, guys, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. If you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter on at Real God of Cringe, then you better go do that now. Now let's jump right into it. All right, so he starts the video off by saying, "We're still in New Jersey, guys, and New Jersey is a gold mine." He says. Well, in his mind, what he's thinking is, yes, it is a gold mine to him, because each and every haunted place that New Jersey has, because there's a lot of myths and folklores going around New Jersey is a new place for him to make money. So they drive to this famous tree in New Jersey. It's a tourist attraction called the Devil's Tree. Now, yes, there's a myth here and there and everywhere about this tree, but of course, Stromedy can't help himself to throw a couple lies in there just to make the story a bit more interesting. Stromedy starts out by saying, on the devil's tree, it doesn't blossom, and that it doesn't get any leaves that grow on it. Well, first of all, technically, that would mean that it's a dead tree. Second of all, you're not there all year, Stromedy, in order to see it bloom or have leaves on it, so how could you claim this? Third of all, you go on Google, you type in devil's tree in New Jersey, and bam, lots of pictures of this lots of pictures of this exact tree with flowers and leaves all over it. As Stromedy is strumming out this silly little tale about this tree, it's funny, you can see the guy in the back seat just kind of glance up at times and then just look down back at his phone. Just simply basically to say, I know what Stromedy's saying isn't true and I couldn't give a care. Stromedy claims at 3 a.m. if you go to the tree, you'll feel poor paranormal activity. Ooh. But of course, online, it doesn't say anything about going to the tree at 3 a.m. Just a kind of like a YouTube spin on it he's clearly trying to put. He, he keeps having jump cuts around this time, which means he keeps looking up new things either to talk about relating to the tree or he's simply making these things up. Stromedy claims that there's a myth out there, that there's a devil running around this forest with only one tree in it, called the New Jersey Devil. But if you look it up, it's actually called the Jersey Devil, not the New Jersey Devil. So Stromedy, you gotta get your facts straight. Stromedy, again, strums up a bit of a tale, saying that the devil has been seen to be climbing up the devil's tree but if you look it up the jersey devil has hooved feet and couldn't possibly climb the tree i mean could you imagine a horse or a goat or a sheep climbing a tree <laughs> and as he continues to go on and on about the fables and getting the fables wrong you just see the guy continuously in the back seat staring at his phone i could just imagine him thinking in his head how Stromedy's not even getting the stories right and they're not even aligning with the mythical fables. Stromedy then makes up another lie, saying that a cult likes to crowd around the tree without any clothes on. But we all know that he just made this up because it's not allowed in the New Jersey law to do this in public. Then Stromedy says, oh, and also these people that crowd around the tree, they bring gifts and they leave them around the tree overnight. But of course we don't know, but of course we know this isn't true because who's gonna leave items around a tree overnight to get stolen? It just doesn't make any sense. And we're gonna get to this a little later in the video as to why he lied about this in order to take advantage of that lie. Then the little guy in the back seat thinks of something to say in the video. Of course, Stromedy's telling them this entire time that if they think of a way to make the video seem more believable, to definitely speak up and let the viewers know of maybe another little tale that you could add to it. So certainly he speaks up and he says, oh, 
See the truck over there and that guy smoking over there near it? Well, I bet he's come from the woods and I bet he's one of them worshiping people. And then the guy in the front seat, which always seemed to screw, seems to screw up the vibe and the creepy vibe that Sromany is trying to put off. He says, but the guy has clothes on. And then the little guy in the back, he's trying to fix it again. And he says, well, now he does, but probably not before. <laughs> then Stromedy thinks of something to say, but he forgets his previous lie, so he can't really keep it up very well. He says that they go into the woods so that they can take their clothes off and that they just put their clothes back on when they come out of the woods. However, earlier in the video, he says that they take their clothes off around the tree, not elsewhere. So that was clearly made up. Stromedy then puts, finally puts the drone in the air and says, guys, it's going to be unbelievable if we actually see the devil himself. But keep your eyes open and comment below if you see different strange things. He's constantly saying that throughout the video so he can get more comments so he can boost his algorithm and spread the video on YouTube. Now, of course, he's saying this, that it would be unbelievable to see anything, because he knows he's got somebody hired to act as either the devil or a devil worshiper that you will, in fact, very well see in the video. And he knows this. And he's trying to play a bit of reverse psychology to make you believe that he believes that there won't be anything so that you'll be extra su stunned and surprised when there actually is something which was actually planned and staged. The guy in the front seat says, if the devil gets his drone, that he'll run off. He won't get the drone at all. But we all know this is a lie. He's simply one of Stromany's minions and he'll do anything for Stromany. In fact, he'd probably run after the drone if his life was at risk. Just for a link in the description. <laughs> they drove to New Jersey with the drone in order to make drone videos, and they claim that they plan to do this all over America. So the last thing they're going to do is leave behind their precious, vital equipment that they need in order to film. So trust me, if anybody or anything were actually out there and took the drone, they'd do something about it. But nonetheless, they have a hired actor and, you're, and we're going to get into that in a second. Stromedy then makes up, if you touch the tree or if the devil sees you, in three days, you're a goner. But of course, we also know this isn't true. Nonetheless, they're seen, spoiler alert, they're seen by the devil later on, and they have no fear of dying in a few days. So the problem is they're not following their lies. That's the problem with lying. It's hard to remember your lies so that you can lie about your lies and not get the story wrong in the future. It's near impossible, and that's why justice is frequently served and liars are always caught. Stromedy says that if the drone touches the tree or comes anywhere near it, I'm not touching that drone again. But that's not convincing because clearly we know it's not going to touch anything or the tree or else it would have a risk of breaking one of the propellers. And once again, we know this is a vital piece of equipment for your travels that you came all the way across America for. So we know you're not flying anywhere near the tree in the first place. Then Stromedy says that the devil is just a myth, and to comment below if you think he's real. However, the definition of a myth is a false idea. So why would you even say that and then contradict yourself, almost asking your audience if they're dumb, as if they didn't even understand what you just said? Clearly, just trying to get more comments in order to increase his algorith algorithmic sharing on the platform. Then Stromedy zooms into the area, pre-recorded, pre-filmed with the drone, and asks his audience and the people in the car if they think they'll see anything. 
of course, once again, using reverse psychology to make you believe that they won't in fact see something and then be incredibly shocked and surprised when you do see it. Instead of thinking in your head, well, he's got it planned out and he's paid someone to be there anyways, and then just kind of expecting him to fake it the entire time. Stromini just thinks this is the better option, and I disagree. Then you do finally see the person that they hired. I didn't know if they'd kind of dress someone up as the hooved devil. I thought that would be funny. But of course, they kind of made up the idea of a worshiper being around there. So heck, why not? Let's just hire some guy to be the clothingless worshiper. But, I mean, if he really wanted to make it convincing, he wouldn't have had any clothes on. They were to blurt it out, would have been good to go. However, the dude is half-dressed, so not, not so convincing there. And then you've requested of your actor to do some really funny and silly-looking gorilla moves, just like the animal, without any shoes on. Trust me, nobody wants to be out there. No sane worshiper wants to be out there without shoes on, hurting their feet let alone doing some kind of gorilla moves with none of their, like, friends to do it with. Just like any worshippers would do. They always have either companions or people relating to what they're doing nearby doing it with them. It's just how it works. You're not really planning things out perfectly, Stromedy. Come on, Stromedy. You could have at least hired the guy and then made him look like he wasn't wearing clothes by putting, like, a little... I don't know, tan colored piece of short shorts on and just blurred that out. And then we're like, oh my golly, he doesn't have clothes on. Convinced, bing, bang, boom. But you didn't think it out, Stromedy. Then you hear Stromedy say, he's definitely a worshiper. But if it was just some guy that they came upon, he wouldn't say definitely. He's just trying desperately to convince his audience that the worshiper is definitely a worshiper. They then claim that they lost him, but that wasn't seamless at all. In fact, it was a jump cut instead. So what was that about? And of course, while they hired this guy to prance around and act like a gorilla, they've placed an iPhone box down on the ground, kind of like they did the Ouija board in the last video just trying to buy more time, have more ads, and inevitably boost watch time so they can spread their video more. There was, I guarantee you, no iPhone inside the box, simply just a box, and I guarantee you, they placed and picked it up before and after filming. Then they have their actor run at their car, just kind of slightly in that direction. That's when Stromedy says, oh, he must have seen our drone. But you see the footage the entire time and the guy never once looks up at the drone. And we're going to get into that a bit more in a sec. I also want to add that in the thumbnail, you see a terribly terrifying little face. And never is that seen even once in the video. You also notice on another note that the video Jay did yesterday, he does the same thing. You're never seeing really close to the face of the actor and comparing it so he gets away with it. Or at least he thinks he does. They both think they do. They're also deciding not to show the actor's face up close because they want to be able to use the actor again. It's more trusting this way and they naturally feel... And they naturally feel... And they naturally feel more comfortable this way, rather than having to go on Craigslist and hiring a new actor every single time. That can get a bit frustrating and tiresome. At one point, Stromedy even adds scary music to make it seem more realistic. The drone gets so close to the actor at certain points, yet still not showing his face, that you actually see him wearing a wig and it's clearly a synthetic wig it's extra shiny the texture is just exactly the same as a synthetic hair wig then you hear stromedy quickly say oh the battery's dying but then he remembers that i made a video on him 
on his last video where he said that, and I didn't let him get away with it. So he quickly changes the subject, gets his actor to attack the camera, putting out a fuzzy screen, but really, if he was disabling the drone camera, it would have turned black. It wouldn't have been that silly, fuzzy screen that he added as a special effect. And then, what even blows my mind even more, the guys, or at least the little guy, is like, oh, I still want to go in there after the camera, I'm more than happy to. He even said that earlier in the video. And then Stromedy cuts him off, changes, the, changes what he's saying, and says, no, all three of us are going to go. So they go in... And then here's where you really screwed up, Pad Stromedy. You get the camera angle from the drone, seeing your feet walking towards the drone. Even though you had claimed that the camera went out. And if this were the case, that, that it did get your feet on camera, as you show in the video, then that would, would mean it never went out. It was continuously filming and you had added a fuzzy special effect to the video. I also thought it was funny, as they were all running into the woods, Stromedy is filming, Stromedy then films the tree, and as he's filming the tree, he says, all right guys, now nobody look at the tree. Yet he's filming it. <sighs> they then go retrieve the drone, like I had said, but that doesn't make any sense, because if the guy that they hired was actually a real worshipper that attacked a drone, then trust me, he'd, that just filmed him, trust me, he would take the phone, or take the drone, he would keep the footage, and he would not let it see the light of day if he attacked it and was so upset about being filmed to the point of attacking it. Stromedy then he says he hears noises, but there's clearly no noises. Also, he, at one point, and this is huge, guys, says that when the clip ended, I went, or I thought, about going to find the drone. Well, if it was a clip, then you just admitted that it was a pre-recorded clip, like I had said previously, and I had predicted. You just admitted that versus it actually being the live drone stream. Not a clip. And certainly, I would hope, not a pre-recorded clip. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching.